Now we can begin to change the layout of the score so that it reflects the score that we are trying to recreate. Now you see what the notability windows actually look like, and I will briefly go through some of the more basic features so you can understand what you are looking at. Now I will talk about all of the blue adjustment points in the score that you can use to adjust the layout of your score. For example, there are several pale and bold blue lines at the top of the system. The pale lines indicate the beginning of each beat, and you can move these around to adjust individual beat placement within a measure. The bold blue lines at the top can be used to adjust the size of the measure itself. At the, on the right-hand side of the system, you can see an arrow, a gray arrow key when you press this gray arrow key, it will reformat the measure so that all of the notes and images fit properly within the measure. There are also several other arrow keys that can be used to adjust the actual placement of the system itself, as well as the indentation of the system from the left and the right. On the top left corner of the system, there are three arrows. The left and topmost arrow is used to adjust the label placement so you can move the labels closer or further away from the staff. The next arrow is used to adjust the indentation of the staff, so you can move it to the left or the right on the page to make a greater indent if you wish. Beneath that, there is an arrow that can be used to adjust the vertical positioning of the system on the page. And this arrow is used to adjust the positioning of individual systems. On the right hand side, there is another arrow key. And this is actually used to adjust the vertical expansion of all the individual systems on the page. In this case, there is only one system, so this right arrow doesn't really do much. At the very, very top of the page, there are two arrows on the left and right, and these can be used to adjust the margins. Finally, on the page, you can also see some numbers. One is, in, is a very large number in the middle of the page, and this indicates the page number that you are currently on. On the right side of the system, there are staff number labels, labeled one through six. Next, I'm going to show you just a couple very important things that you will need to know. The first is the toolbar at the top of the page. And this is what you will use primarily to select what type of editing tool you are using as you are entering notes and images into your score. The two other most important panels will be your music images panel and your score structure panel, which right now are floating windows at the right hand side of the score, but you can actually reposition them to any location on the screen that you wish or even close them. You can use the, this option in the tools menu to toggle them on and off or to ever find them again if for some reason they get lost and you can't remember how to get them back. Aside from the music images, score structure panel, and the toolbar menu, the other most important part on your screen will be the cursor. So if you can see, there is a large blue cursor, and right now that is occurring in beat one and measure one of the first staff in the system. This cursor will become important as you enter notes or images anywhere because this will be the place that anytime you enter an image that it actually appears. You can also see at the bottom that there is a number and that indicates which beat the cursor is currently located on. To move the cursor around, simply press the command key and hold it down and click anywhere on screen. And you can see the cursor moves. You can also see that the number changes as you move the cursor around within the beat structure of the measure. These are the most important basic general tools that you need to know before you can begin to enter notes and images into a score in Notability Pro. Now that we are familiar with these very basic tools, we can begin to do some note entry and replicate these two pages of the score.